Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the general ledger transactional export feature. Now, as the name implies, this feature allows you to directly export general ledger account transactions into Microsoft Excel. Now, currently, um, if you'd want to view account transactions for specific general ledger accounts, you need to go to general ledger reports, account transactions, and you can then specify a range of general ledger accounts, um, account types, etc., and also specify period range to view those account transactions. And then also specify a few other filters on your report, and you're then able to email this report, print the report, and preview the report, and after the preview, you could then export the report to a file. Now, the transactional export feature allows you to directly export your GL account transactions into Microsoft Excel. Let's see exactly how this process unfolds. Under General Ledger Transactions, we have a transactional export feature, and it tells us that it's going to be an Excel export of your GL account transactions. And yeah, I can go specify my range of ledger accounts. So I may want to export my full chart of accounts. So I'm going to specify the first account on my list and then the last account and then also a period range for the export. So I may want to go and view, for example, all my GL accounts for the previous financial year. So I'm simply going to go specify my date range, previous financial year, and a few display options I can make use of. If applicable, I could print my foreign amounts. Now, I'll need to now go specify a file path or location where the export file is going to be located. I can then for browse to that location, and they have my file. Notice is that it defaults the file name to GL transaction export and attaches the date of the export to the file name. The file is exported as a Microsoft Excel worksheet. So I've got my details there, the file name, the date of the export, save that information, and I've got my ledger account information, the period details, export file details, and I'm going to specify export. So as you can see, I've exported those accounts in a matter of seconds, and now I can then go view the exported file. So I'm going to say yes to open the Excel workbook. And we'll see when the file opens that we've got details about all the information exported. So I've got my account link there, account name, transaction date, reference and description, and very useful, the audit number. So you may want to, for example, analyze transactions via audit number. That column is available for you to review transactions by audit number. And then also we've got a running balance column. So you can obviously just check the running balance of the transactions on each account. And you'll see that I've got details of all the accounts and transactions for the date range specified on my filter report. And all the transactions can now be analyzed and reviewed further from within the Microsoft, from within the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So once again, you see a very useful and easy way for you to export your GL account transactions directly into Excel. We then just revert back to our evolution database and do a recap. It's really a case of general ledger transactions, transactional export, specify your ledger account range, your period details, as well as the export file path, and then select export to export those details through to Excel. So a very easy way for you to export your general ledger account transactions into Excel. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. It's over and out for me, and goodbye.